Hi guys, welcome to another uh, edition, season, episode. It's not a TV series, so I don't know what I'm supposed to call it. Anyway, um, welcome. If you haven't been here before, hi, my name is Nicola and I am the owner of My Inner Creative. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. Today, we are going to be doing a multi-denominational, non-traditional December Christmas bullet journal spread. I wanted something really fun and creative and I wanted to combine my love of scrapbooking with my love of paper craft, with my love of bullet journaling. So I kind of smushed them all together and didn't really want to go the traditional route of greens and reds and golds and all of those great colors. So I decided to go with more pastel colors, pastel pink, and a whole bunch of other vibey kind of things to it. So I created something a little bit different this time. It's pretty easy to follow along. You can do most of the stuff at home with the stuff that you already have. If you want to make it a little bit more festive, you know, just use some uh, Christmas wrapping paper as the backing and you can kind of frill up the rest of the stuff there as well. Use Christmas stickers if you want to make it more Christmassy or essentially anything else that you may want to try it's you know a free-for-all but you know big thing is if you want to be featured on the art of bujo please hit us up and tag us and use the hashtag the art of bujo because we'd love to see how you recreate this so that i can share it with the whole world it would be amazing anyway let's get started right now All right, the first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to kind of punch out uh, a couple of bullet journal pieces of paper in the perfect size to be able to stick it in to my journal. Once we've done that, we're going to create really simple little tags and I wanted little, um, really small ones just so that they could flick up. This tool is so easy. You just kind of punch it on the one side, measure it up as to how big you want your tab on the other side and then trim it. It's really straightforward. All right, let's give every single one of these tabs a little day of the week. I'm using the Kelly Creates uh, sticker book here just because it's got a whole bunch of Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays in it. So those days of the week are going to go on the bottom of those tags. Great, now that we've got those done, we're going to give the back a little bit of texture and I'm gonna use some yellows, oranges, and pinks to create a really nice background for my little tabs that I'm gonna be sticking in to my journal. I'm gonna use it on both sides and once I'm done, I'm going to add some paint flicks just to create a little bit more texture all over the page. I'm also gonna use some paint flicks over the little tabbed paint, like the little tabbed pieces of paper, and that way they kind of match into what I'm trying to achieve on my spread this week. Right, it's time to add some embellishments, and this is pretty straightforward, right? So we're just gonna stick it, put in some stamps, we're gonna stick in some washi tape, and we're gonna just kind of create a little bit extra stuff around the page just to make it not just the watercolor and the tabs, we're gonna just create a couple of other extra elements to it as well. Now that we're done, we're going to stick in our little tabbed days of the week. This is where I'm going to write my to-do lists on and I'm going to keep it pretty straightforward. I'm going to stick it in very simply just with a piece of washi tape and I'm going to aim up the tab underneath it to make sure that it fits and then the next one and the next one until pretty much they're all stuck in. You can stick them all on the same page and it's kind of like a creative Dutch door. Now I'm going to go around and again put some extra stamp work throughout the page just to give it that extra uh, kind of texture and on some of the back of the pages I'm going to stick some stickers and then I can use the back and the front of those pages.
finishing off these pages with a couple of quotes and it is finished this took me all of maybe 15 minutes in total so please feel free to give it a try I'd love to see your recreation of this to the first part of this spread we're just going to put a whole bunch of labels down the right hand side of the page we're then going to cover it with some washi tape Christmas week usually isn't very busy and because this is going to be end up being my Christmas week I'm keeping it pretty busy so that I don't waste too much space in my notebook so I'm going to have a little space here to journal about Christmas Day and just popping in some Christmas lettering and then I'm going to be putting in the rest of the days of the week For consistency, we're going to add a couple of strips of washi tape on the other side. I'm using this black and gold washi tape to give it more of a Christmassy feel, but again, it could be really for anything. Once that's all trimmed up, what I'm going to do is take my days of the week and stick them to some backing paper to give it a little bit more colour. Once I've done that, I'm going to trim them so they've got a nice edge round to them and then I'm going to see how they fit really well in the notebook. Okay, let's add the days of the week to our little boxes and start looking at where we want to stick them in. Again, this was a really simple spread and didn't take me any longer than probably 10 minutes to do. It was pretty straightforward and I'm looking forward to using it to jot in some of my notes for Christmas week. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to visit us elsewhere, we are all over Instagram. Come and visit us. We're also on Pinterest, Facebook, and you can hit us up on email as well. Look forward to seeing you next time.